It's been a long time since we've done one of these videos. Mm -hmm. So let's recap really quick. You guys are well aware that like I tried to date her for nine months straight and like she wouldn't have any of it, right? Yeah, they're aware of that. Okay. We got to a point where I would like go to my friends, in particular one friend of mine, and he would say to me like, he's obviously in love with you. Like he would treat you so well. Why don't you just give him a shot? And I was just like, cause he's kind of dorky and I'm not really into like his dorkiness and he's just my best friend. So for a long time, I was just like, nope, not even gonna have, like, couldn't even see Harris that way. She just didn't want to admit that she loved me. We're even still jumping in. We haven't even talked about yeah. the first night we kissed. So at this point, we'd, we'd kissed before a few times. It was a roller coaster with Kenzie. We'd kiss for like four days straight, and then she'd go AWOL on me. And then two weeks later, she'd come back and we'd kiss for three days straight, and then she'd be gone. And it was one of those things, like, I just had no idea what what that day was gonna bring. So, anyways, fast forward to we had been kissing, like, on and off hmm. for a month or two. Important that they know, because this says it had to do with my decision. When we were off, it's because you wouldn't give me the time of day. No, I'd be like, I, I guess it's friend. over. I would still be your friend. We just would never acknowledge it. You would be it. a very distant friend. And yeah, you pretend it never happened. In my mind, I'd be like, okay, maybe that's the last time it'll ever happen. Maybe it's over. Maybe that was it for me. That was the best I was ever gonna it's get. It's because I was very conflicted. I was just like, oh, like, Maybe this could work. Like maybe I could. Like, anyway, I, could I was it. I was just getting kind of tired of of that. So where this chapter begins is I left for spring break to go visit my grandma in Florida with my sister, and I got to Florida and it was my first time being like we literally spent every single day with each other, mm -hmm. and it was my first time being away from Harris for more than 24 hours in like months and months, and I was gone for a whole week. And while I was there, we would like do this walkie talkie app back and forth. It's called Voxer. Yeah, you record voice messages and send it to them. And, you can... and so we were just doing that nonstop. And I was like hanging out by the pool with my sister and like just kind of enjoying Florida. But I really started missing him a lot. And all I wanted to do was talk to him. And we even FaceTimed. It was like 9.30 p.m. And like when we go to visit my grandparents, it's just like you're gone from the world. Like you dress like in jammies everywhere. And like you just don't wear makeup because you're just like in a retirement area. Area. You're in a retirement home. No, yeah, no so press. you just kind of like let it all go. And I put on makeup and my sister was like, what are you doing? And I was like, nothing. And then I went in their closet in the room that we were in and I FaceTimed Harris. She was like, who are you talking to? Because it was like no way in her mind because my family knew that. I was like, he's just my friend. And there was no way that I was talking to you. She's like, what boy were you talking to? And I was like, um, you don't know him. I didn't say it was you. Really? Yeah, I, I didn't, didn't say that. it was you. And then, she, and then she finally was like, it was Harris. And I was like, no, it wasn't. Oh my gosh. Because I wanted them to stay away from it because I was very confused and I didn't want them this, chirping in my ear. These are the actions of a very mature person, by I the way. I was 21. So she caught me and then I was just like, nah, nah. And then remember I sent you a Voxer and I was like, I really miss you. Like you're my best friend. I remember that Voxer. And you responded back and you're like, Really? I, that was that was a moment. I remember driving somewhere and I remember hearing like this message of her saying like you're like my best friend and I was like she thinks I'm her best friend. Like that's so special. Yeah, I, I remember like, that you was were a moment really cute. for me. Long story short, over this trip I realized I was like I think I like Harris as more than a friend because if I didn't I wouldn't be thinking about him constantly. So, he was going to pick me up from the airport. So, I got all cute and ready to be picked up from the airport. And it's totally because I wanted to look really cute when you picked me up and I got you a pack of do you remember this? I got pack of gummy worms mm -hmm. oh yeah because he would always freeze gummy worms when we would hang out and I brought you a shell from the beach in Florida mm -hmm. which is still in our car uh -huh. and he I kept know. it so wait 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 we have to switch you have to know what I was doing while you were in Florida so I thought it was done I know she's being sweet and we're facetiming and everything but at this I'm kind of I'm getting dried up about all this so my roommate had been uh, working on this film project with a with a group and one of the girls in the group was this this cute little funny girl she was adorable Kenzie's not her biggest fan. No, I, I don't, don't <laughs> say that. I'm, okay. <laughs> she was great, I just wasn't her biggest fan because she was dating you. <laughs> That's all. It wasn't personal. It was just business. I know. So it was like a week before you came home. I asked her on a date. I think we only went on like two dates. I don't even remember what happened. I think we'd kissed once, which is when like, that was why I was like, oh, this is, happening. This is a new thing. Yeah. Can he Harris picks me up from the airport. I give him his gummy worms and his shell. We drive like an hour ride from the airport home 
and I drop her off. We're gonna need your opinions on who is in the right and who is in the wrong on this in the comment yeah. section. So anyway, she comes over to the studio the next day. I'm I had a love sack in my studio, so I'm lying on the love sack, and she comes down, lays behind me, and kisses me on the back of the neck. And I was like, you you need to fair know, fair. there's uh, another girl I started dating a couple days ago. Um, I, I can't I can't do that with you. And, and I thought we were gonna start dating. I was like, I got it figured out now. I'm not gonna like back away. We're gonna try this. I was like ready to date I didn't him. know that. And I had like made up my mind. I was like, I'm gonna give it a real shot because I think that I really like him. By the way. And then once you figure that out, it like really, the, it intensifies. You're like, oh wait, yeah. Why didn't I realize this before? I really like him. And it sounds like I'm blowing my shot here. This is the best thing I could have done. So we go on working as usual. I dated this girl for like three weeks total. So we went on working for a couple weeks. It was like three, it was almost a month. Yeah. It was like a few days shy of a month. Yeah. So mind you, we still are seeing each other every single day and I'm coming over to his place and he <laughs> swears it wasn't intentional, but it felt very intentional. You, you would just be like, sorry, that's it's me. Sorry, it's her. That's, I have to go take this. That's totally and then you'd like me. I leave. Was... Okay, but like don't don't poo-poo this. It's, it happened. That <laughs> I was your never that's... intentionally rubbed anything in your okay, face. Okay, that's fine. I, was... I will say, I think even in the moment, I knew that you weren't, but it's what it felt like to me. Is that I was like, he just like is so upset that I took so long to figure it out. It just felt very you intentional. Didn't know me at all. Oh. It's like people say that once you want to start having a baby, like all you see are babies everywhere. Mm. And it was like once I decided that I wanted to be with you, like it felt like everything that was keeping us apart was like all that was around me. So anyway, a couple weeks passed. Oh, no, no, no. I forgot. I came in one day and sh you were there, she was there, and you guys were watching Nightmare Before Christmas. And I came over to hang out. He had no idea that I wanted to like start dating. He thought that all I had done was come home, try and kiss him once, and he was like, oh, we can't do this anymore, which that was his side of things. Which wasn't the first time, like, we'd gone off again. Like, I didn't yeah, think anything of it. Yeah, he just was like, it. oh, like, bye. Another on-off thing. So I was like, can I talk to you for a second? And we went to your bedroom, and we shut the door, and I was like... That's, by the way, looking back on that, girlfriend was there, walked into the bedroom with Kenzie. Not, not my best decision. I'm ballsy in this story a few times, which is not like me. I'm not very confrontational. Mm -hmm. So I must have been really dead set on letting you know how I was feeling. So we go in the room, and I was like, I just want to let you know that I realized that I really like you. And I came home from Florida with the intention of trying to date you, and I think this could be really great. And his reaction, you were like, you missed your chance. Okay. Sorry. It wasn't like I don't that. need this right now. Okay, it's it's too late. I'm with somebody else. I'm happy. This ship has sailed. Be honest. You reveled in it a little bit that you were like 100% did not. I would not. I don't do that. That's not me. I don't do that. He was like, I'm with her now, and we're happy. But it probably wasn't with that. The tone, the delivery. Okay. Is way again, off. again, this is my perception of like how he said everything. You you can fill in <laughs> the rest of the blanks there. So I left, and I was like, well, he's my best friend. I have two options. I can just not be friends with him because it's really hard to like be around him when he's dating this girl or I can keep being friends with him and just try and be happy for him that he's really happy. So and for like three weeks I would come over almost every day, continue working on YouTube and music and stuff and hearing you talk about her all the time and calling her and whatever. Important context by the way, I don't think you knew this part. I felt like if I was gonna be an honest boyfriend and I was gonna be spending that much time with you, she needed to know that like I told her we'd kiss. Really in in defense of And so of she her, was she she was very, very understanding and trusting that she let us to hang out as much as we did. <laughs> yeah. So when you had come to me, we'd been dating a couple weeks after that. The whole the whole time whenever I was with my girlfriend, I was I was thinking about Kenzie because she'd come in. I feel really bad about that, but <laughs> I like it was one of those not things. Not my where, like, intention, by the way. It was one of those things where, like I knew, like okay, this relationship's not gonna last. If I never date Kenzie again, that's all I'm gonna think about is what could have happened with Kenzie. I tried to make it happen, and it, all I could think about was Kenzie. And so I remember you came in the studio one night, and I asked you. I said, "This hey, is this is the night. Like we're getting into like really good is, stuff now." Uh -huh. I remember exactly where I was when this happened. I was sitting on the love sack in your filming studio, like recording studio that we would like work in. And we were working on a project. We were like literally working on a YouTube video and, and recording vocals. And you were sitting at your desk and you spun around. And I like remember it so clearly. And you asked me, I'm pretty sure it's the exact quote. You just like out of the blue, like we had stopped talking and we, you were working on stuff. And you just turn around and you go, do you still feel the same way that you felt a week ago? And I was like, what? 
because <laughs> I was not expect. I was like, okay, she won. Like, she got him. I ruined my chance. Like, gotta try and be happy for him. Like, whatever. And you right. wouldn't answer the question. I was like, I can't. That's what it was. You're right. You're right. I didn't give you a direct answer. I was like, that was I don't the most feel frustrating like thing. No, because I was like, if I say yes, and and then I and, break and, up with her for you, and then it doesn't work out, and then it doesn't out, work out, I'm gonna, I'm that's you like again on me. My, all my happiness again. <laughs> yeah, that was what I remember that, and I was like, I don't want to give. And you I respect that. And he was like, obviously, like, okay. And I was like, I feel like you kind of. This is your your time to shine, but and and somehow she had interpreted that basically that was the gist of the conversation. You mentioned and you, you said that no, oh no, he's no, breaking no. up with no, her. No, no, because you said you said at the towards the end of that conversation you said well she's coming over here tomorrow and we're supposed to like do X Y Z so why don't you come over tomorrow after she leaves? You said that. Yeah. And I in my just, mind, I was just he, talking he, about plans. He had just, well, but he had just said, like, just, do you feel still feel the same way I that you do? I was just scheduling more work. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> in my mind, it was like, he's going to break up with her, and then I should come over after. Like that, it just, the conversation jumped. There he was really like. really filled in a lot of blanks there. And you filled them in wrong. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to argue, but like, <laughs> I really think there was more that happened in that conversation where like, in my mind, it was perfectly clear that I was like, he's breaking up with her tomorrow and then I'm coming over after. Anyway, so, so fast forward to the next so day. So the next day. Voxer, the vo voice recording thing. I would just, he left his door open and I would just come in because I would go in every day. I would just open the door because it was always unlocked. And he told me, she'll be gone around eight. You can come over after then. I'm like giddy at like skipping to his house and I'm like voice recording. I'm like, hey, I'm on my way. Like be there in five and park the car. I'm like practically like galloping, like ready to like run into his arms. It's important you know, by the way, I had these lights that you could change the color on your phone. They were smart lights. And my roommate liked to mess with different light settings. And he made one called ultimate makeout session lighting. It was like super moody lighting. Yeah, so mind you, they're in like a half basement level. Like it's like half mm -hmm. underground. And you can just see like the top section of the window when you're walking past his apartment to go down into like the apartment. And I'm like walking and I see these like red and blue light kind of things shining up in the window and I was like, oh weird. And um, then I turn the corner and I like, I'm ready to like run into his arms and I open the door and I see them making out on the couch. Like right next to the front door. Right next to the front door. <laughs> like full on laying down, making out. Oh man, I remember, I, sh I mean, she was my girlfriend. I had no one, like, I didn't tell you I was gonna break up. Like, I wasn't really doing anything wrong. But it was one of those things where like, you just knew, like, I'm so oh, proud. Like, in bad. my mind, I can still see it. This like, is really bad. And I remember Paris, like, like looking up, up and being like. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> and so then, in a in matter of like split seconds, my brain goes, I've completely misinterpreted everything that he said. I need to think of a reason why I'm here. He does, doesn't want to date me. I really screwed this up. I can't believe I was so stupid. Wow, can't believe that I thought that he wanted to date me. I'm so mad. I'm seeing him make out with another girl. Like a thousand thoughts running through my mind. And then they both are looking at me and in like literal split seconds, all that's going through my head and I'm like, I needed to grab a capo for the guitar. Yeah, and you ran into the and studio. And I ran into the studio, like past them. And just as fast as you ran into the studio, I ushered her out. So, <laughs> I, like, okay, well, I, I gotta like, get to work with Kenzie. I'll see you later. <laughs> and I was like pacing back and forth in the studio. I'm like, I, and I'm trying not to cry because I just felt really stupid and I just saw you making out with another girl. I was so upset. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like literally like going like this pacing around them. I'm like hey I gotta get a capo and leave and I'm so mad and like I thought that we were gonna be dating Are you okay and you look you were like working yourself up here I was a little so bit. mad mm -hmm. I was so upset I'm reliving it I know, I know. <laughs> you never had to see me make out with another guy for as much pain as I put you through you never had to see me making out with someone else so <laughs> He's not kidding. When he says that he ushered her out quick, I mean, she was, he was in there in a, like a matter of like 30 seconds. Yeah. Like, I don't know how, what you did, but like she was gone. And then he came in and he was like, I'm so sorry. Cause so you felt bad, which means that you must have also been under the impression no. that you knew. You can feel bad without actually doing anything wrong. It's available. 
That's just the sign of a good person. Throw a one in the comment section if you think that Harris did something wrong. If you've never felt bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. okay, so Harris walks in. <laughs> I gave you what I picture in my mind as like the climax of like a rom-com. Like the Hillary Duff when she goes into the into the locker room and she's just like it's waiting, waiting for, for you. It's like waiting for rain, rain in this drought. drought. Hopeless You're and so disappointing. So <laughs> like that's what I felt like my speech was to you. That is perfect. But I basically said to you, I was like, if you want to date her, great. If you want to date me, great. But make up your mind. Mm -hmm. That was that was the gist of it. I was like, bye. And then I left like in a left. fury. And then I went to the gym and I ran like six miles without <laughs> stopping. Like hardcore like sprinting because I was so upset. While you were doing that, I had gone and spoken to a mutual friend of ours. I needed to know what to do. We talked about it for a little bit. I... <laughs> Drove. They texted her, said, hey, we need to talk. I was there for two hours talking to her, breaking up with this girl. On my drive back, you texted me and asked if you could come over and talk to me. So my side of things is I just finished working out at the gym. I ran out all my feelings. I came to the conclusion. I was like, he obviously chose her. I need to be a good friend because he was a good friend that to was me. A good move. When, that was a good move on your part. And he was there for me when, when I wasn't into him and he liked me and he still like was a really, really good friend. And I was like, I need to be a good friend. So I texted him. I was like, hey, can I come over? I want to talk to you. And I like think of in my mind, like I'm going to apologize and like tell him I was a bad friend for like being as upset as I was when obviously I had just misunderstood things. I left him hanging and that was on me. And the reason why we're not together is my fault. And so I walk him through his door. I don't even think I gave you a chance to even say anything. So I pictured this part of it as the Rachel Ross, that like coffee shop scene kind of. Mm. I didn't get a cat. When he's when it's locked. Yeah, yeah. So I picture back. it. I picture I picture this like in my mind. It's like that. Yeah. So, wait. So so but before that starts. So when she's like, you think I like seeing her with you? You you think it's easy for me to see you with Julie? Well, then you should have said something before I met her. I didn't know then. I like picture it like so it was like that. <laughs> so I walked in and I was like, hey, and you're like, uh, and I was like, let me just talk. And I was like, I'm so sorry. And I went went on for like two minutes yeah. and you just let me go. Just let like, it go. You're just like. Okay. Then I gave my whole spiel and I was like, so I'm really sorry. And, and I was like, okay, I broke up with her. And I was like, you what? Then it was like the Ross and Rachel with the-, the with, Opening with, the doors What's thing. her name? And then we made out. Oh. <laughs> That's how we started dating. That's, That's the story of, of the night we started dating. And then the rest is history. Mm -hmm. We had a very tumultuous start. Yeah, it was rocky. Reliving that was kind of sad. Yeah. What what stories did we miss though? I feel like we missed the um, we talked about visiting our families for the first time mm. and stuff that happened. I tricked you into visiting my family for the first time. Yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah, yeah, I do remember. That was a good one. Lots of trickery happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it for this video. If you want to see more story of us videos, leave a comment below. We will see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.